So the question asks, suppose the relevant money supply curve is the one labeled MS sub 1. Also, suppose the economy's real GDP is 30,000 for the year. If the money market is in equilibrium, then the velocity of money is approximately. So this is a pretty tricky question. For some, you might see right through it, but for others, it can be a little deceitful. So the first part of this is to understand the velocity equation. And the velocity equation is this. V is equal to P times Y divided by M, where V is the velocity of money, P is the price level, or the GDP deflator, Y is the quantity of output, or the real GDP, and P times Y, so the multiplication of p and y is the nominal out is the nominal value of output so what will really trick a lot of people is this this variable right here because you might immediately jump find the equilibrium point and say bam this is it and then start plugging and chugging in the numbers but what you'll fail to realize is that this right here this axis right here there's actually two axes there's this invisible one right here that was not shown this right here is the value of money and this is one over p this x-axis is the quantity of money and this secondary y-axis is actually the price level and that's simply in terms of p so if you recall the price level is what we want right here and if we were to have plugged in 0.5 for the p variable we would have gotten the incorrect answer that would have led to the incorrect answer of d d is not right i'm going to show you the right answer now so with that in mind let's go ahead and plug it in to the velocity formula so v is equal to ah uh, can't forget about this so this is the equilibrium point and right here we had 0.5 and if we draw it straight across to this point right here which i'll mark in black this one was one over p so we have to flip it one over 0.5 which gives us two two is equal to p that's the value we want so we would have two times thirty thousand divided by the quantity of money which if we follow the equilibrium point all the way down we get ten thousand this results in an answer of six answer choice b